at the cartoon company, we think that engines are like penises. Some of them are short, but wide. And, and he thinks engines should be long and skinny. No, I think they're long and thick. If I'm trying to put the manifolds on, this is wider than a V8. Is it? Fuck yeah. Really? Don't want to go put manifolds on this thing. So it's long and thick? Yeah. And wide? Yeah. Right. Don't put, what, I'll go, I'll go. what are the rules? What are the rules? We don't do two JZs. We don't do JZs. We don't. There's, there's two cylinders missing. Oh, that's alright. This happens to be his own engine. He's having a week off work. Did you get that? And you were still here. You were actually here earlier than you often are normally. Hey, are you me. kind of motivated? Did you shit the bed? Oh, I kind of woke up at half five this morning. He's excited because he's. Well, no, got... I just woke up at half five this morning because I woke up at half five this morning. I, I was editing videos by six o'clock this morning, hmm. doing emails. So this is, as I said, this is Jace's personal engine. We'll have a look at the car later. Two J. There should be a VVTI solenoid. Look, you can see it through the clear cut. When did you, when did you get that? Oh. Uh, How long you had that? A little while. I, was, I tried modifying the, the factory the factory cover. Yep. And then I saw this, I was like, well, that's way easier. So I'm probably either gonna paint it black and just put it back on and call it good, but. So you get a clear cover and you're gonna paint it black? Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> depends. AEM coils? Well, except, except these two aren't AEM coils. But they are, they're the same thing. Same thing? Yep. Take a sticker off, you never know. There's no whirly things. Those rotary mufflers to make it quieter, it's not fitted. It's not yet. It's kind of easy to transport like this. Oh. Did you make that one? Yeah. That's the loom you made, right? Yeah. And there's no intake manifold? Yes. We're going to go get that, it's in the car. Once again, it's much easier to transport like this. Are we putting normal knock sensors in it? No, Proper. We'll put oil. We'll put oil in it. So I got the studs to do that, right? Put a oil temp thing in it. It's got an oil cooler now. Are you putting pressure temp sensor or? You both yeah. But you've got. Oh, that's. I'll ditch that. I'm gonna to go to dash. Okay. I'm gonna put a dash in it, so I'll ditch all this. So you're gonna wire it. Yeah. And then you're gonna strip it apart again just to double check everything. Oh, I don't know. Depends. I haven't decided yet. I need to get a crank, I need to get a crank bolt. That one's had a bit of abuse, so it's time for a new one. Did ARP do one? They do, actually. Just buy an ARP one. You going to. Good. Well, it doesn't work. I know it doesn't work. It's getting there. I have to move those V8 things out of the way. Yeah. It's longer than the table. Yeah, I got pins for those. Because I'm going to use, reuse the. Do we recycling? Yeah, well, these aren't that old. Really. The plug... That's the map sensor. That's the map sensor. Yep. And. You're not putting a new one map sensor on it, using the older map sensor? Well, I've got a 7 bar in it. Oh. I've got the big boy one. Okay. I'm not running. Like, I run more. Like, this is boost. I'm going to put these little, little big oh, right. okay. on it. And it's probably going to end up with 30 psi in it. You, know, you can still get away with four bar. We've got a seven. But you've already got a seven bar. It's already fitted. You've done really well because there's a wiring loom here already. Mm. Like one, day, you know, it might be dark outside, but there is a wiring loom. Oh, I started the loom at night. That's now. Can you wire the V8 things for that fast? Maybe. Maybe. I've, well, I've come up with different. We got different techniques of doing it. Okay. Well, actually, no, probably so you're not. gonna you're gonna run the loom along there? Right, right along there, like that. Yeah. So it's like a like a race setup. So you can take it off so it's serviceable. Hmm. So instead of tucking it and hiding it, you've gone with visible, but it's gonna be super neat and really easy to, to actually take on and off. Yeah. Well, I got sick of pulling it out through the firewall because it's a pain in the ass. What? Do I need to buy your firewall pipe? Well, I don't know how we're gonna get it through because I've already got the factory looms in there. Right. Well, we'll leave the factory looms. Right. So I've got the I've got the old one that we've cut up, but I want to be able to make I want to try and seal it as best I can. Yep. Because it kept leaking last time. Okay. 
Um, and the adapter for the drive by wire Bosch drive by wire throw body. Isn't that lovely? Hmm. Knock. It's just down here. Just here. And that's lovely, isn't it? That's very, very sexual. Right? And an air temp somewhere. Wherever you're going to put it. Somewhere. Yeah. You may end up with a tube and plug on it. Yep. Good. Well done. I guess my gearbox loom. Oh, yep. Oh, you said kind of. You didn't put a plug at the top, you've made it full length. Yeah, I was just... You know. Okay. Well, I don't know. I might change it yet. Well, you can think overnight, can't you? Well done. How long have you owned this car? 4th of 2004? 2004. 17 years you've had the car. Yeah. We probably should look at the car at some point, eh? Yeah. Look, you pushed it in the workshop. There's no motor, Jace. It's over there. It's over there, yeah. 2004. Oh, because you were the first owner in New Zealand? Yeah, 4th of 4. 4th of, uh, of 2004. And you've had it repainted? Yeah. Did you put the big brakes on it? The super brakes on it? Last, when I put the motor in it. Oh, that was when the 2J went in it? You yeah. put the big brakes? Yeah, got the big brakes Because so, how long did you have it with the beams? 2J and it was 15 years. Yeah. Been off the road for five. Right. Working on it. And you've got the big granny clutch for it. See, contacts that I've got. Righto, let's go home. I've had enough. We'll talk about it car tomorrow. Yeah. It's got plugs on it. Yeah, it's got some plugs. Oh, and it's got plugs. It's got, got plugs. It's got an intake manifold, but there's, there's no whirly thing. Where's your whirly thing? It's in the box on the floor over there. There's a big whirly thing. And a tractor. Is that you like your baby? You're holding it like a baby? Yeah. So what is that? Besides a turbocharger, I know that, smart ass. <laughs> It's a, it's equivalent to a G35900 Garrett. It's a Pulsar variant. Pulsar variant. Yep. All right. And then I went away yesterday and it looked quite nice in there. There was like a couple of wires hanging out by the dash. And you said, what's this relay? And then now there's stuff everywhere. Yep. I removed some stuff. And then I add some more stuff back in. So I removed this, this loop. Which is the old boost control loom. Yep. And uh, taco feed for the shift light. Do Don't need a shift light now. Yep. And there's another wire in there. Don't, don't need a dash anymore. Don't need the factory dash. No. Someone ordered bits for that. And um, it's something to do with the alarm. But the alarm might be going bye bye and getting a new one. It's fairly well hacked up and it's 17 years old. Right. Good idea. So. Ah, oh, I see you've got me out of the battery in the boot. Um, that's, yeah. Yep, that battery might be going bye-bye as well. Just don't run a battery? Cool. We're on Bluetooth. Bluetooth battery. <laughs> yeah, Bluetooth battery. That is your thing, yeah, right. It's a mess in here. So that was some of the fact, what, what's, is this? Oh, uh, it's just spare parts out of, what are you there for? Different cars that you've rated? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's right, I used the... Pull the pin out of it for the excessive mounts. Excessive engineering. These not, they're not excessive, actually, they're, they're quite sparse. There's not much of them at all. No. There's, there's very little to them. Yeah. I don't think you'll break them. No. Fitting an auto would stop them breaking. What Fitting. box, what gearbox is actually in this? Not that there's a gearbox in it, there's a nothing in it. It's an R series box. It was an R154 that you brought brand new? Yep. And then you put an upgrade kit in it. Yeah, Marlin crawler. I had, it, I had it six hours, we stripped it. Marlin crawler, thrush washer, billet center plates, um, billet selector forks and all the shit in it. Okay. 
So you've got an extra plug? Yeah. The white one? The white one. It's spear. So that was out in the cabin, uh, out in the engine bay or not? No, it was, in, it was in the cabin. But I can't see where we were plugged into. So let's so got a... It's got the fuel pump trigger wire. Got the power. The fuel pump trigger was normally in the fuse box in the engine bay. Nah, fuel nah, pump trigger sorry, never came nah, in sorry, here. Sorry, not, not the trigger, the ignition power. Because okay. I think you still got a it's still got a relay box here. It's normally in that one. Uh it's normally in there because they have the all those plugs are from the ECU. That's too long. Cut that and we'll sort that out too. You're gonna cut everything out by the time you finish. <laughs> Just uh, start cutting. You can save on a pound of boost. You'll actually get power instead of having to run all the weight. Okay, so it's already been pulled in there. Yeah. Okay. So all There's I've nothing done, on that. All I've done is pulled the alternator and speedo wiring from here. Yep. That was attached to here. And yeah, and you pulled it inside. In. That's all I've done. We got. Gave it last night. I mean, well, I wasn't coming down here back last night after hearing you on the phone. See what, what you've done? See this little short one here that doesn't go all the way? It plugs in here. And then this one here, it plugs into there. See, that's what you've done. You see this one here? I can't actually see. It it's Solve it yourself now. Here you go. Solve it yourself. You'll see what you've done. This was a UV. It's not a JZ. No JZ's in the cartoon workshop. Okay, I'll win this. None at all. Are you actually going to put this on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still have it. Yeah, you see what you did now? Trick for young players. Took me a while to find that. It's too early in the morning to find those sort of problems. There's actually another JZ because there's nothing in it. What are you talking about? There's nothing in it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's an enigma. It's a mirage. That's you can't see it. Where's your manifolds? Where's your exhaust manifold? No, you don't see the exhaust manifold. Yeah, I do. It's been a while since I've seen all this. Oh, I do like that throttle body adapter. And that loom looks really nice, Jace. I'm. You got to be pretty proud of that. Why, why is there still a water hose here? <laughs> What's this one? That was the one that goes to the throttle body standard. There's no standard throttle body though. Yeah, well, unfortunately someone forgot to blank, get to blank it when they um, you hit the head off. Yeah, should have welded that one up. Oh. Yeah, I'll just put those on it. Get another one of those. No, I've got to use that, so I'll probably just put that one up, recycle it over there. I've got more, I've got new ones. In the right size. That is quite sexual, isn't it? Jace, I think it'll have a boost leak. Can't find your nuts. No, it's like, why is there a bell housing bolt? You're reaching into your bag to find your nuts. Why is there a bell housing bolt there? So whose manifold is this? A six boost one. Six boost? Yeah. You've got a good match of parts, eh? What do you mean? By the time you get through all the different parts, I've got proper factory Toyota Locking ones. They don't have the flange though. Don't want that fall off, eh? So you've got uh two smart. GFB. A GFB. Same same uh, the same way as I had the last one. What? So I had a different turbo on it, hence the reason why this Did you sell your other manifold? I still got it, I'm trying to sell it, but no one wants to, no one seems to buy it. Right. You know this spaghetti junk can actually work. Well, what did it make? It's five, 500 and... Uh, 430 wheel? Four, 430 wheel kilowatts. Yeah. Half, half the world doesn't believe, it, doesn't understand kilowatts, we have to do a horsepower. 570 horsepower. 570 horsepower. At the back wheels. Oh, hello Bon. Hello Bon. Right, look at that. 
Yeah. Should we get the tape measure up? Oh, yeah. Eight. Call it eight fifty. Eight fifty. Do a VVTI? Sure. I'm um, to that like I'm on the outside of the power steer pump. Call it seven hundred. Okay, it's it wider. You win. I think it's a manifold. Yeah, but this has got manifolds on it too. Yeah. I was going to the edge here. If we went right out to the edge of the manifolds, what have we got? You, that was sort of the head, so let's go to the edge of the manifolds. I'm out, sort of, edge of manifolds, about there. Yeah, you're still wider. Still wider. I think that, that's at the widest point. But between my strut, between my strut tower, about there, I've got this much room to get my, to get That's this. a pretty fat finger though, Jase. It's like Gorilla Finger. This is mine's a little one. And then to here, here to the strut tower is not very much room. Right, okay. Got it. Righto. Looks like you had a successful day of work yesterday. Hmm. I moved my sheep. Oh no, I moved my sheep today. I played my sheep, did my vacuuming. Cool. When's the motor going in? Um, I might sit in today actually. Right, I'll get that other truck out of the way for you. It's probably, it's probably gonna hit you. Oh, I've got it. Yeah, Jason touched your pad. I've got it. Okay. That's not appropriate, is it? Bit of touching. I couldn't have the language when he was putting it on the hoist. He had to jerk it up to make it fit. But it's good to see it's on a hoist. Yeah. Did my dog just come in and fart? I think so. Pretty she sure she just came in and farted, eh? I think she just cropped us in a say. Yeah, she did. <laughs> what? It's a pretty long package. So you, so you put the manifolds and stuff once it's in the car? I uh, can fit with the exhaust manifold on, but it's easy like this at the moment. Before I could actually get it with the stock manifold and, and the thing, I could actually pull the motor in and out. Oh, okay. But the other manifold sticks out behind the headlight, so. Oh, yeah. It sticks out over here. No fitting. No fitting, right. <laughs> so is this a test fit? Oh, this is a, yeah. Make some lines. Oh, fuel lines and all that sort of stuff. Start doing that sort of shit. It's much easier standing up. Yep. See if I can convince Mr. Crump to come down here and make an exhaust. Oh, uh, yep. Did, did, what happened to your exhaust? Did you sell it? Yeah, I've gone three and a half. And it's now on Ethan's car. You sold it to Ethan, right. So that shifter puts it in the right place? Yeah, move it forward just about that much. Because it had a tripod on it, eh? Yeah. So you've ditched the tripod and gone to that shifter. Yep. And that sorts that problem out. Yeah, it's fit the, the tripod one fits, but it, when it was in fourth gear, it rubs on the back of the, um, the, the okay. surround. Knock sensor's new. Pressure sensor and temp sensor for oil. Did you find that little, where's that yeah. little blanky thing? Because there. Oh, I see, I haven't had it. Look at that. Do you want to? Do you want me to get that for you? Oh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that now. Do it now by by your remembers. Yep. Mounts fitted. Yeah, they ain't gonna move. Nope. <laughs> I hope they fit. <laughs> what What are they actually for? IS three hundred. So those are IS three hundred mounts. But the measurements are. The same as what I had. Because because this was all when you put it in originally, you just used factory parts, eh? Yeah, so that's one six one Aristo that bit. And then, I use, then I use a Geta rubber mount, but I probably could use the three S ones to be honest. Yeah, and the cross member was standard. Yeah, standard three S cross and then, member. And then on the Gearworks cross member, I've got a hole in the front, hole there, and then a rear hole. Yep. This, Four cylinder cars have the, that hole and that hole. Yep. And the six cylinder cars have this car, that hole and that hole. So all I do is put a, Let's move. Just put a rib nut in there. I right, rib nut it. Yep. Well done. Uh, what's been down inside here? Just got a set of Supertech valve springs 
and some HKS264 cams mm -hmm. and a Tommy adjustable cam gear. The Tommy? Oh, yeah, Tommy. He can't remember what he has for breakfast, but he can remember every part of this car. We should have a look underneath at the suspension some stage, and he'll just babble off all the parts that are in it. There's not much else he's left. No. <laughs> Where's your clutch? Right, on the back of you. Oh, I'm sorry. Big so all these pipes are all going to work, all the intercooler pipes are going to work still? Uh, we're going to try and change a bit, but close enough. The hot, cold slice should work. You say 19 kilos? 19 kilos. Woohoo! So that's nine and three quarter with organic plates. Yep. Twin plate on a custom flywheel, thanks to Brendan at Night Parts. Oops. Oops. So you're working on bearing sizings for the tilt and release bearing? Too. You can do emails. You don't do emails for me normally. Oh, look at that. Oh, what the size of that center plate? <laughs> it's like another flywheel. It's like a No wonder it's 19 kilos. <laughs> that's awesome. And they bolt. So that's bolted to the cover. Yes. With the plate sandwiched yeah. in between it. Yep. And apparently it's ready to go. You just jam the thing in, line this plate up with that one, yep. and away you go. Right. Going by the things I found online. Cool. It doesn't look to it looks like it's something in there. Yeah. Look at that. That's a bit of kit in it. Mm. Apparently it's some genuine ring gear as well. Good stuff. Oh, the flywheels doesn't weigh anything. Have you got some ARP bolts for it? Yeah. You do have ARP bolts for it. Good. Oh no. It's not in. The, the clutch is the gearbox. Yeah. It's bolted together, Jason. There's no clutch fitted. Yeah, we're going for the um. We're going for the. I need. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. But nah, I need really spring sorted. So. Yeah, you got because you've got to measure and sort that. Yep. So it wasn't working to bother putting the clutch in. Right it's easier to take the gearbox on and off like that. Can you get the gearbox out in place? Probably not with those mounts. Because it used to flop back. Yeah, and I have won't. done it with the, other, with the other mounts when I modified them. I, right. got it out, I got it out, but it was very tight. That's why the firewall got smashed again. The tunnel got smashed again. Oh, you've tidied the tunnel, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Auto solves the problem. Six speed. Yeah. Make you faster. Did it explode? Yeah, it did explode too. Right, we'll get you that fitting. Ah, uh, solid diff bushes. What are they? Oh, no. Puppy, Puppy, come here. What do you think? You right? We're talking about the car. <laughs> hey, off you go. Did um, I get you on one? Did I get you on something? Because you've got... Oh, so these are these are just subframe collars. They've still got a rubber bush in there. Oh yeah, okay. They're just subframe collar. That's a hard race bush. That's a that's a bush that Anthony made. Oh, okay. So that's it's called um, owner made. Yeah. Owner made, yes. Yep. So that diff, this diff does not move. But also now, there is, it sounds like the diff's about to explode through the car. Oh. Transfer noise through the car. Okay. And, and that's, um, of course, a little bit bigger than a normal Altesa diff. It because is. of why? How many did you break? I only broke two. Only, that, that's diffs? Yeah, Altesa diffs. And gearboxes? Six Altesa gearboxes. Seven, seven. And how many of them did you, because you broke them with the 3S? Yes. And how much did your little 3S only made? 260 kilowatts? Uh, at one point made 280, but yeah, 260. <laughs> With lots of talk. Yep, yeah. And and then you went to the 2J. Well, no, I put the the big well, box. You the put big, the big box in. Put that box and this diff in behind the 3S. 
Yeah, so this box to had a bell housing to the 3S. Yep, that made up. Yep. Which has now been passed around several times. Oh. I think your dog's broken. Hey, quit it. Quit it, miss. It'll do. You right? Sorry, it is. Too Maybe it's the wind or something. Maybe. She's weird. Oh, is there something in the bin? I think she, there isn't anything in the bin, but I think there. She just thinks there's something in the bin. Yeah. Probably get off. <laughs> and then the bottom arms? Hard race. <laughs> Hey, Josh, please. Put it. Put um, it. Yes, bottom arms. All, all the most suspension in this is hard race. Because this one had, did this one, you just got adjustable suspension written on your cert tag? No, it's got adjustable it's, arms and everything it's on It's got all written down. Yep. Yeah. So it's hard race, hard race. And then the front camber arms are hard race. Um, Where did that club frame bracket come from? It's a Cusco one. Did you just acquire it or was it on there? No, I've had it for years. I scored it off another car. Right, yep. Um, there's another diff brace as well. What? More monkey bars? Bars in there. Um, you can replace these, but I haven't yet. Um, what else is under here? And then you've got this big support bar with the sway bar mount support bar across the front as well. Yep, and also this. this is and you've got well. different top arms. What are the top arms? Hard race. Those are hard race? Yep. There's well, a of adjustables in there. There's not much left of the standard suspension on this car. Right, no. Um, that's a chaser diff. What chase? What model chaser was it? Uh, Chaser X90 100. And then you had to change axles. Yeah, it's got chaser axles in it now. You put big axles in it too, eh? I did have super and sore axles, but I broke them. They're too long. Too oh, long that, the, side. the push to push it and it broke the CV. Bat belt on them out. But it was weird because I we drove around for years like that, and then within two months I broke two of them. So, the R154 is handling your driving? So far. Found something that you can't actually break. Well, I found, we found it, it's been apart, it's been apart and it's had a select, the fourth gear select, the hubber being, it started to fracture. But I think it's to do with the, may have to do with the shifter position. Oh, because the shifter was too far back, so you put the bit of shifter on. Yeah. And that, you think that solved that issue? I think it helped. And it's also got a, um, the, the four drive gearboxes, they've got a like a baffle plate in them. Oh, yeah. Holds the oil in there. Yes. So we put that in there as well. Just, okay. just some giggles. Uh, and there's something else different here too. Yeah, there's a dry shaft out of a, the tubes out of a Falcon. <laughs> that universal's an R154 and that universal's a surf. Because <laughs> we've got to tell a story. Yeah. Well, do you want to tell a story? You want to tell a story? That Jason got a cert and he didn't put a drive shaft hoop in. And he was really proud of that. And then what happened? What happened about fucking six years later, broke the center hanger. Yeah, it fell out. What were you doing, Jason? What was I doing? Oh, well, there's a big long story behind that. <laughs> the gearbox, I, had, I brought a gearbox from somebody and it went up and down the country several times. And by about the several time, I was a bit annoyed with it to keep popping out of first gear. So I got a limited up in the second gear and the drive shaft didn't spin the tires, it broke the drive shaft. Yeah, so that was, um, you were sitting outside the car tune workshop, you dumped the clutch in second gear, and it, and it just snapped that little tiny spline in the middle of the drive shaft yeah. off, and the drive shaft fell on the ground. Which no, it didn't, because I had a second hanger. It held it I had it in the second hanger? Yeah. Just stop. It just, it just stopped. It just stopped. Of the cars, because everything gets a drive shaft hoop, and of the cars, you don't put one on it, and that's the one that breaks. Hmm. But the guy at the dry shaft shop did the dry shaft also noticed it. Oh, the nut was a bit loose, so I did it up. So obviously it had been, it's twisted and stretched before. So of course you've got that custom one piece dry shaft in it. Yeah. With the dry shaft hook. With the dry shaft hook. Yeah, it went for seconds and they made me do it. Just long enough, that's good. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be, you can't fit your clutch. There's a big hole in there. Yeah. Look, I got your sump pan. Yeah, one that and look, is. and it and it's got the recessed, brand new, and it sits beautiful, doesn't it? What was uh, up with the old one? That's the same sound. The, the uh, pan's we, the same. It just had the old one had a big fucking crease in the front of it. Oh, you duffed it because it's so low. No, it just said come out of the front. Remember? Oh, so when you got it, it had a. Okay. And I put a there's a Cusco or something Cusco's baffle sump and pan in here. Something oh, right. gate thing in here. And it didn't fit. Well, it didn't have to 
Because of the crease? Because of the crease. I had to beat the living shit out of something to make it fit. Uh, that looked all horrible. <laughs> and so we got it. Right. Piece of the dog got out. <laughs> Come here. I think your mount's fit. Yeah. That motor's not moving. And so we've just got more vibrations coming through the whole yeah, car. The, the, the mounts were solid. They've, they welded straps onto the factory mounts to stop the motor from talking over. Right. So you just stash turbo into the strut tower. <laughs> oh, there's your holes. Yeah. So let's move it back. So Job done. Back. So it just you. bolts in. Yeah. Drive. It all bolts in. Oh no. How's your wiring loom looking? Well, it actually fits. I mean, she's. It's a bit tight around the back of the manifold, but because there's all this fuel yep. lines and stuff yeah. in there. That'll help you learn just to give it just that little bit extra. I did give it a little extra. A little bit extra extra. It has got extra extra. Oh, right. Oh, good. It's just, it's just tight. Just tight. All right, you can do whatever you want. I'm going back to do work. I'm trying to do fuel lines. You have organised fuel lines. There is no try. There is only do. Well, I am organising fuel lines. Good. Jace, put your foot on the brake. Oh, look at that! It's got lights. My heater seems to be doing weird stuff. But could we? Should we get some diagrams for you? If you can't find it. Oh, you had a shift light mount. Did you? Was that the mount on the dash? Mm-hmm. Right. My leg, so, the, my leg is on the door, so you... Oh, am I leaning on it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't feel a thing. I did. Are you in high beam or low beam at the moment? I'm trying to find a high the handbrake, actually. High, high beam, are you, are you in a power on the other end? Because it's an earth, isn't it? You, I should get you my logic probe, because a logic probe gives you both. Or an LED one's really handy for that, because it goes positive or negative. The, that probably being not connected is, is going to cause you some slight issues. So I got a, is it a Marco surround for you? Yes. And Ethan? Yep. So here we go. Isn't that nice of me, isn't it? You like? Yes. Mm. Indicator. Indicator. Indicator out of the way. Good. Yes. Did you actually steal Ethan's whole dash or just his instructions? The dash's here. You stole it back. We sell him a dash and yep. then you go and steal it. Yep, he didn't even open it yet. Hadn't he? No. Nah. Well, so I took great pressure to open it myself. You gonna teabag it before you send it back? Well, I didn't think about that. Yeah, see? <laughs> he said, we, you know, you're gonna take it to bed and cuddle it. So there's high beam. Nothing. 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 That one's a pair. That one's a pair. That's boring. You've been boring. Yeah. Jason has spent another day working on this and it looks just the same. And this is the reality of working on a swap like this. It's He's not done nothing. He's been working his little butt off. He's playing with that. Apparently the turbo's loose because he's moved it round. And then these pipes don't actually fit. So he's got to sort that. He's done some stuff on the loom. Yeah, pull the loom back out again. Oh, squeaky door. I pulled the loom back out again. And then you make some changes to it or not? Yeah, flicked all the pins around. And then I've got a plug with all the old stuff that, that, well, that goes to that, that went to the to the old stuff that doesn't do anything, but I'm just going to leave that there because I know what they are. Okay. You got it marked up. I've noticed the diagram on the ground there. Yeah. Yeah, but how long has this fucking car not been going? Five years. So, have you had a good week? A bit done, yeah. Do you, you know it's late and it's normally your last day of work and you're contemplating coming to work tomorrow because it's your day off? Have you had permission from your other half? Well, they're going to order it, so they're, I'm, I'm getting dropped off here. All oh, right, are you going to be delivered? I'm being delivered. Right. And they're carrying on. Right, and then you're being picked up. 
Yeah. So they, they're doing that deliberately so you get home on time. They have plans for you. <laughs> no, well, they've got to wait until I've finished doing my running around in the morning. Oh, right. So, then they're going down to drop some stuff off to mum and something. Oh, so what's inside that motor? Oh, oh engine. What's, what's inside, inside that engine? engine? What's inside it? Yes. Um, but like the, the uppy downy things? It's got a... It's got a brand, you put a brand new factory crank in it. Because the other one's bent. You've been to crankshaft? Yep. Doesn't surprise me with you. <laughs> it was a bent of rod. Bent yeah. factory rod. So I've got a set of MRP I beam robs. Iron rods. A set of CP pistons. What compression? Uh, it's about nine and a half, nine to one. So it's kind of half a point. Right. Nine and a half to one. Um, box being decked, heads being skimmed. A uh, set of King racing bearings in it. ARP hardware all through it. That was the normal stuff. Just That's the, just the normal just stuff. Just the normal stuff. And then a set of HKS cams. Um, super deck valve springs. And then I went to die grinder at the head a, couple, a little while ago. Didn't do much, just tidied it up. Um, a set of cam gears. Uh, cam gear. And then... On the exhaust cam because the inlet's VVT. The, uh, the VVT cam cam gears are being replaced as well. Oh, you've still got a new yeah, actuator, you know? Yeah, cool. and, and the actuator. Yep. So I've got a new one for both of those. Um, set of 1500cc injectors. Oh, fuck, what have not changed? Yeah, fuel rail, intake manifold, throttle body, exhaust manifold, turbocharger. Yep. Well, Genuine Toyota cam belt. Yep. Gen Genuine Toyota head gasket too. Is she used to running the factory tensioner? Uh, no, I've got a billet, te I've got a billet tensioner. Factory bearing. Yeah. I've got a billet tensioner guy down. Oh, yeah, okay. Guy down, um, Ruben down in Wellington made some, so I grabbed one of his ones. Because the other thing they do with the UZs is they extend the little the pokey out thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't have... They that. poke that out and then they put a new one in. Yeah, they don't have that problem. I don't think they have that problem. They, they crack the factory ones, they cracks with the casting mark. Oh, uh, Brandon makes um, billet ones. Yeah, that's what I've got. I've got oh, the actual the housing unit, the, yeah. the idly unit. Yeah. Yeah, i got it. So it's the bearing's same, but the bracket has changed. Yeah. What about the, the tensioner? Factory. Just factory. You don't, have that problem. you don't have problems with the factory stuff. Cool. Right. Yeah. Right. I draw right. yep. Um. Oh, I've got a brand new oil pump in it too. So the third one that's here. Yes, because you can. Because you can. And the cheap. Yeah. So cheap. don't bother just putting your pump in it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. And it's super brakes. Mark IV Supra. Yeah, Mark IV Supra front brakes. Mm. Yeah. Face the rotors. See, I can kind of remember. Yeah. Um. J uh, Chaser JZX. 90 or 100 series radiator memory. Oh, is it? Yeah. So the, J, so, so the JZ radiator. And that fits in the LTs are okay? Yeah. What did you modify to chat make it fit? Mm, cut the rubber mounts at the bottom. But with the, these, cut these. Oh, yep, trim them. So you just had to trim those and, they, and it fits. Yeah. Cool. And the straps over the top get them to bend, but okay. a mate of mine used a, got some chaser ones and they fitted. Okay. That's a sexy uh, adapter too for that throttle Bosch drive by wire throttle body. Yeah. yeah. Very lovely. My, uh, the power steering hose just clears. <laughs> the bolt. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't move. <laughs> oh, wait. That's not done up though. Yeah, no. So you've got plenty of room. Yeah. You get, once it does hit down up. The dipstick, the dipstick causes me a bit of a problem with the new manifold. Oh yeah? Because the little one comes up here. Yes. Well, won't fit. Won't fit. So I gave it a bend, so. Okay. It still works though. It's still. Yep. Oh wait, there's no oil in it. So you've got dash wiring underway. You're getting plans. Yep. That's what you're playing. You're playing wires. Yeah, I'm playing wires. Playing wires, and then you've no. got intercooler piping to do. Yep. And exhaust this weekend, maybe. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll get there. You're trying to fit a three and a half inch exhaust and a wastegate tube down there. Yep. Off that. Yep. Right. Awesome.
fits. Heaps of room. Yeah, yeah, heaps of room. <laughs> Is it running a TRD thermostat or just a normal one? You can't remember. Stock. I it's just a normal one. <sighs> I thought I'd gotcha. No, stock. And this turbo, it, it, it looks small on the here, eh? It does. Like the, the whole set looks bigger. And the... What else did you have? What did you have on it originally? Turbo. Yeah, what was the first turbo you put on? HX40. From it, was, was, it was an HX. Yeah. So that one ran on there for quite a while, and yeah. then you've just changed to this one. Yeah. It's going to be really interesting. Um, Glenn at the lab. Yeah, he put two of them on. He's got too. two for his one. Yeah. Oh, our favourite spark plug. IK22? 24s. IK24s. Yeah. Oh. Actually, you need to get some. I need to get some for Landau. Oh, do you want to get some more? Yeah, for Landau, for the RV. You want some 24s? Yeah. Okay, I'll get some 24s. How much are you? Should I buy like 20 of them? Oh. 30 of them? Yeah, oh, okay. I need. Sure. What? <laughs> I need to eat six. But... Well, you can keep some for you and then some yeah. for the other guys. They're good plug. They're good if they're plug. pumping lots of boost. Yeah. Um, Those 22s in that supercharged Prado, lovely. Yeah. Well, Came that, out nice. That's, that's good for that. That's, that's six pounds of boost in a UZ. Perfect. Well, I used to run the 22s and the 3s. Yeah. And that was that was fine. And in, my, in my surf, I ran the 22s. Yeah. The 22s are okay. I think I just went to the 24s and yeah. just for... Yep. So I've got water lines to make as well, the turbo. But so wound up on the water hole things from last year we didn't have them. Oh, right. <laughs> take them out, put them back in, take them out, put them back in. Or well, you can move them anyway. Yeah, I was gonna put oh, a banjo it. No, nah, I was gonna put a I was gonna see if I could get a weld on. Oh, yep. Like a weld on, just weld a aim and put because then the hose is this long. It's only that long. Yeah. And then this hose will come out and around and go into the factory spot down there. It'll be like that, won't it? Something like that, yeah. And so it... Yeah, pretty much. Because you want to have, to have a little bit of bend to get it in and out. Yeah. And the other one will just run down and around and onto the factory thing. Oh, you don't need to blank that one. You can put a water hose onto it. Yeah. And then later on if you have them... Oh, you could tap it though. To put an AN in there. Power steer. Is that bracket going to work? I'll make did, it work. Did you hit it with a hammer? I just bent the, the bottom of that tag back at that tangent. Yep. Um, but I'm gonna... That looks right, eh? Might trim through... Look! I'll put it on the floor. Gravity's working, Jase. Yep. Trim the bottom tag off. Yep. I don't know. You'll sort it. And then you've got your map sensor mount. Yeah. Super sure Man. And of course you're going for a fuel pressure, fuel temp. Yeah, I'll change that. And an adapter. Yeah. Alright, awesome. Catch can, good. Mm. Not legal for cert anymore. It's certain. Certain. When it was suited, it had that on it though, eh? Oh right. That's what this is. Oh. Yeah. Yep. And that's what this is the PCV yep. valve. All right, okay. So, it's not there anymore. It ran fine, like it, it did pump a little bit all into the front of the turbo, but. The, I don't think the air conditioning would be very easy to fit anymore, eh? Mm. It'd be nice to have the air conditioning back in it. Oh, find the aircon wires though. Put them in. <laughs> right. Well, actually but, no, the pump, Bolts the factory, I'm going to change it. Yep. That's, that's what that's for. Otherwise, it breaks the pump off the front of the motor. Yep. Oh, yep. Because they've bent the. the only so that bracket's an extra bracket you bought from somebody? Yeah. Bought off Tramie. But there's guys that do billet ones and. Yep. So that's you, your call. You're going to go home. Home time. That's not going in the car. You need a different one. You get a different one? Yeah, I don't like how that seals. So you're getting something different in the fuel system? Yep. I'm getting one that's the tip those sit inside the so you think. 
Like we did okay. for... Oh, yep. Like that big one. Yep, okay. Oh, there's a dash in the, in the car, is it? Yeah. Ooh. Dash. This one. Over here. Ooh. We stole it back. Uh, we sold that to Ethan. We've worked on Ethan's car. We've helped him out. He broke some rotors on a UZ. And we stole his dash. And we've actually got a, a proper molded shroud to go on that yet. So that's going to be cool. An old dinosaur link. Was it? It's home time. I'm going home now. Okay. You, you can do whatever you want. No, no, I have to go. I guess you do. Hmm. Yeah. There's a piece of drain pipe going in. <laughs> yeah. And the V-bands. It's, you know it's Saturday? Yeah. This is meant to be my day. Yeah, and? You've invaded my workshop. Yeah. More than invaded it yesterday, but my parts didn't show up. That's good. But, but, look at that. And you brought help, because your welding isn't, um, I, this certainly isn't Jason welding, no. is it? And it's not my kind of welding. I'm, not, I'm definitely not that good. So he brought a spare, spare person to help, and they're doing dodgy deals to get an exhaust fitted. I made Jason put the arc welder away. Yes. Um, and what happened to your old exhaust? Well, it's going on another car. He actually turned up last night at some ungodly yeah, hour to pick up parts. He sent me a photo of my car. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here in my car? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you threatened to teabag his dash. He was just come down to get some revenge. Okay? Goes, so you probably want to wash your car. He won't want to wash his dash then. He definitely wants to wash his dash. He goes, oh, something about making it sticky. I said, yeah, it's tomorrow's job. Yeah, yeah. So. That'll be good. Another thing crossed off your list. Mm. Drain pipes done. I was hoping to have fuel, fuel lines done, but um, yeah, I got screwed on that. But anyway. And then there's some intercooler pipes. Yeah. Anthony, you're doing uh, intercooler pipes too? Yep. Oh, look Love at that. Love some aluminium. That's okay. my favourite. You like the aluminium? Wow. Just expensive. Yes. Better stainless. Wow, yeah, when you actually have to pay for it versus someone else paying for it, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll have a look at your own, we'll have a look at your truck, eh, see what you've done. Yeah. And then I'm going to bugger off because it's Saturday and I don't want to be here. Yeah. I've had enough of you this week, I was meant to have a week off, Jason, I tried to get rid of you for the week, well, and you've been here working on your own car. Well, you... But it's been for good to see, because you need to get it done, eh? He needs to get it done. Yeah. It's looking very good, actually. There's a lot of progress happening, eh? Hey? Yeah. It's going to be fantastic again to have it running. It's been dormant for too long. Correct. Yeah. Hopefully it gets a wheel going. <laughs> on the grass. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. Hopefully it gets a wheel. I don't think we're allowed to go on the grass with it. He's going to grade the road. He's going to have to bring a trailer in yeah, just so it can leave because it can't get up the road. I'll throw it out. I'm surprised to fucking the, not a fully enclosed trailer to get it here. <laughs> Dusty. The fab man's Hilux. Covered in dairy tube, stainless. Chase, show us your tip. Tight. I'd be using cardboard. Cardboard clearance measurement. It's, it's That's gorgeous, eh? Yeah, he's done a. Oh, he's done a fucking. That'd be a lovely, lovely job. How many, how many meters of weld do you reckon is, is in it? Oh, no idea. Seven. Seven meters of welding wire. Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, okay. no, not well, well, it's seven meters of weld. Oh, well, okay. Seven well. meters of, seven meters around each. Yeah, each, two, 20, Look at that. 24 welds. Not three and a half of them. Higher than three and a half of Right, well. Gets all the way to the back. Yeah, from the front. No bungee cords, okay? 
Ta got to take the bungee cord off. Yeah, well, it's once, not a fireproof bungee cord. Once the once the um once the mount is made, I'll take I'll replace that with the mount. You happy with that RNF? So that's RNF. That's Raychem RNF 100. Yep. Looks good. Yeah. Looks really smart. Yep. And that's a little bit a little bit more price conscious than uh, DR25. Yeah, and looks mm. the same. V very similar effect. Well, let's say very what? similar. Was... Probably need to put an earth on that. And I'm probably need to shrink that too. Yeah, that's, that's good. Right. Work in progress. Probably need to put plugging into this too. Yeah. Don't know where it's going though. Yeah. <laughs> so big days, big weeks work. Are you going to do another week in a few weeks time? Let's see. Spend some time at night sorting some bits and pieces out. And hopefully, we'll hear it run, this, we're going to get it running by Christmas? Oh, for, hopefully before then, yeah. Christmas 2021? <laughs> I know. almost want to drive it home. Oh, you want to drive it home? Yeah. Right. Alright. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Same, actually.